Advanced Algebra Mastery Quiz Number 4 Review. Very short, one problem. And that problem is to write an equation in slope-intercept form that passes through the points negative 3, 7 and 6, 1. Well, first we're going to have to use uh, the point-slope formula. Now remember the point-slope formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, you're going to have to have that memorized. Well, looking at it, we need to know the slope. Okay, what is m? Well, that requires us to use the slope formula. And the slope formula, remember, is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so let's plug the numbers in and find our slope, just like on the last mastery quiz. Okay, this should be routine by now. So the slope equals, all right, y2 would be 1. Okay, uh, y1 would be 7, so 1 minus 7. x2 would be 6 minus x1 would be negative 3. Okay, now remember that becomes a plus positive 3. All right, so that becomes negative 6 over 9. Always reduce. Negative 6 over 9 becomes negative 2 thirds. All right, now let's plug the numbers into our point slope formula. Uh, again, it doesn't matter if you pick the negative 3, 7 or if you pick the 6, 1. I'm going to pick the 6, 1 so I don't have to deal with any negatives, but that's your choice. You will end up with the same answer no matter what. All right, so let's plug the numbers in. So y minus, okay, so y1, I'm going to let that be the number 1, equals the slope, which we just found, negative 2 thirds, times x, and the x1 is going to be the 6, minus 6. All right, so I'm going to simplify. So y minus 1 equals distribute the negative 2 thirds through. So negative 2 thirds x and negative 2 thirds times the minus 6. Okay, that becomes a plus 4. Okay, remember negative times a negative or negative times a minus becomes a positive. All right, one step left, and we have accomplished our task, and that would be to get rid of the minus 1, add 1 to both sides. So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5. We have now determined the uh, uh, slope-intercept form that passes through the points negative 3, 7, and 6, 1. Now, one thing that I would suggest is checking it on the calculator. So pull up your calculator, go to your y equals screen, and type in what we just found. Okay, the negative 2 thirds x plus 5 in your y equals screen, negative 2 thirds x plus 5. Now go to your table, so go second, then the graph button, which is your table. We can then verify that these two points are, are in the table. So look for negative 3, 7. Yep, there it is. It's right at the top, negative 3, 7. And then the other ordered pair is 6, 1. So I'm going to have to scroll down a little bit. Positive 6, 1. There it is. It's at the bottom. So I know I got the problem right. So use your technology, use your calculator to verify that that equation goes through those two points. That is it for mastery quiz number four. Good luck.